Shrouded in dense vegetation that hides strange life forms, lost cultures, and much more, there's no question that jungles are mysterious places. Recent technological advancements have only just begun to allow an understanding of the secrets held within the canopied reaches of our planet's most incredible and diverse environments. But the few things we have discovered so far have been absolutely mind-blowing. With machete in hand, let's carve our way through the brush to discover some of the oddest things ever found in the jungle. Amazing. Number 10. Jungle Veteran As far as most of the world is concerned, World War II ended in 1945. But Hiro Onoda, a Japanese lieutenant, hid in an island jungle in the Philippines for 30 years after the war ended taking his orders not to surrender very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that he and his surviving comrades rejected all communications informing him that the war was over, believing them to be American trickery. After the last of his original three fellow holdouts was killed by local police in 1972, Onada was left alone. He was finally convinced to accept that the war was over and leave the jungle when his original commanding officer visited him in 1974, ordering him to return home. The locals were glad to see him go, since he and his fellow holdouts often engaged in violent combat with anyone who ventured near. Despite killing as many as 30 people during his prolonged stay on the island, the Philippine government granted Onada a full pardon, considering his genuine belief that the war was ongoing. Onada went on to establish a ranch in Brazil and opened up a series of survival training schools in Japan. But Hiro Onado isn't the only case of this happening. In 1974, Private Turo Nakamura was found on the Indonesian island of Morotai, growing his own food and living as if World War II had never ended. So next time you're late to the party, just say you're pulling a hero or not. You'll be pardoned. Number 9. Silk Hinge The Amazon holds countless mysteries, but not all of them involve humans. Deep within the Ecuadorian and Peruvian chunks of the rainforest, intrepid explorers have repeatedly stumbled across these bizarre structures. Though they resemble the tower of an evil fantasy wizard with a penchant for sturdy fences, they're actually thought to be used in reproduction by an enigmatic species of spider. The species responsible has not yet been classified, but their babies are a cool translucent orange, meaning their sense of style isn't restricted to their flashy homes. The structures are made of spider silk and the little tower in the middle contains fertilized eggs. The purpose of the circular silk fence surrounding the tower is unclear, but it may be used as protection from small hungry or curious critters. The first silk hinge was discovered in 2013 by a Georgia Tech student named Troy Alexander while visiting the Tambupata National Reserve in Peru. After asking the internet what the structures were, it became clear that nobody had ever seen them before. The appropriate name Silk Hinge, of course, refers to their visual similarity to Stonehenge. Could this mean Stonehenge is harboring some gigantic spiders waiting to hatch? Remind me never to visit. Number 8. Ancient History With Lasers Thanks to recent technological advancements, archaeologists are now discovering countless remnants of ancient jungle-dwelling civilizations. The primary tech, LiDAR, is a surveying method that uses lasers to scan vast areas and construct 3D images based on the time taken for emitted light to be reflected back into a sensor. And it turns out it works great for building aerial images through dense jungle foliage. The technology allows for mapping that, as recently as the mid-20th century, would have been thought impossible. In Guatemala, by digitally removing foliage from LiDAR images, the ancient cities of Homol and Tikal were discovered to be vastly more expansive than previously thought. Discoveries like these in Central America have been so profound that they threaten to completely destabilize our previous understandings of the scope and size of the Mayan civilization at its height. Take the expansive 150-mile-wide network of roads and living areas found around El Mirador, a large Maya settlement, for example. These immense networks seem to suggest that the Maya culture may have even been comparable in size and sophistication to cultures like ancient Greece. With discoveries like this being regularly made, it's an extremely exciting time for those interested in lost cultures of the past. Number 7. Spider Decoys Ever wanted to seem bigger and more intimidating without needing to hit the gym? This recently discovered Amazonian arachnid has your solution. 
This spider, thought to belong to the Cyclosa genus, creates patterns resembling bigger spiders in their webs, using leaves, debris, and dead insects. Scientists theorize that these spider sculptures are designed to ward off predators by appearing larger. This highly specialized behavior is impressive, but not too shocking when you consider that most spiders are capable of creating geometric structures in the form of their webs. This species just took things one step further. Hopefully, they remain in the Amazon, so you don't have to start worrying if you really caught that spider or whether the real one is still creeping around. Number 6. Hiding History's Most Heinous In 2015, archaeologists found the remnants of a small building in the Teyucuare Park in Argentina. There wasn't much left of the structure, but there were a few clues about who the inhabitants might have been. Several coins minted between 1938 and 1941, as well as a plate fragment, were all found to have originated in Germany. Of course, between the years to which the coins are dated, Germany was deep within the throes of fascism. This has led some to speculate that, towards the end of World War II, the shelter may have housed fleeing political figures. It's been a long-established fact that Argentina was the escape location of choice for some of Germany's most insidious figures of the mid-century. Thousands of European fascists immigrated to Argentina thanks to then-President Juan Perón, who hoped they could get some advanced military technology and know-how out of the deal. However, the evidence in the aforementioned jungle location is inconclusive, and some argue that the coins might simply have been left by German tourists since Argentina was and is a popular vacation spot. Number 5. Frankenstein's Fungus they say in the ant language, the words Ophiocordyceps unilateralis are forbidden. Unlike many curse words, these won't insult anyone's mother, but they're guaranteed to strike fear into the hearts of any passing ants. This parasitic fungus, discovered by Alfred Russell Wallace in 1859, infects ants and uses them to reproduce. After being infected, the ants begin to lose control of their bodies as the fungus takes over their circulatory systems, brains, and muscles. By releasing various chemicals, the Ophiocordyceps unilateralis hijacks the ant, heading away from the colony to find the ideal spot where the temperature, light, and humidity are perfect for fungal growth. Finally, the ant is forced to bite firmly into a big vein on the underside of a leaf, at which point the fungus kills its host. Once the ant is dead, the fungus grows out of its body and releases spores with one aim, create more zombie ants. This fungus can wipe out entire ant colonies, and to make matters worse, hundreds of other cordyceps species prey on different victims, even spiders. That's right, zombie spiders are a thing. Good luck sleeping tonight. Number 4. Alien Life on Earth? The Palinarua meteorite is alleged to have fallen into the jungle near the city of Palinarua, Sri Lanka, in 2012. It was recovered by Professor Chandra Wickramasinghe and his team, who then published their discovery in the Journal of Cosmology. They claimed that after examining the rock with an electron microscope, they had found fossilized diatoms. These are essentially microscopic organisms which are found in bodies of water all over Earth. If this rock had really come from space, this would mean that they had proof of extraterrestrial life. The team even alleged that it contained some living diatoms too. But critics argue that while the rock does have a similar structure to many meteorites, it may in fact be more earthly in origin. It may have been carried over time from a nearby river or may even be made of fulgurite, a mineral body formed by lightning strikes. The similarity between known earthbound diatom species and those in the alleged meteorite is another point of contention. But even if it isn't a meteorite, a lightning rock full of fossils is still a fascinating find. I suppose we'll find out its true origins if the mothership ever comes down to pick up their kids from daycare. Number 3. Dust for Life The jungles of the Amazon are lush and vibrant thanks to the fertilizer of a very surprising origin. The Amazon supply of fertilizer can be purchased at Home Depot. It comes from one of the most barren places on Earth, the Sahara Desert. Dust from the Sahara is great for plants since it's rich with iron and phosphorus. Plants need phosphorus for growth, respiration, and energy transfer, while iron is needed for photosynthesis. Wind blows this delicious dust all the way to the Amazon, where it's enthusiastically received. Nutrients in the Amazon's own soil are constantly being washed away by rain, 
so this dust provides vital support to the largest refuge of plant life on the planet. But the magic dust has an incredible history too. The Bodell Depression, an area of the Sahara housing much of this superfine fertilizer, used to be underwater, once featuring a 150,000 square mile lake. For reference, that's almost as big as California. Billions of tiny microorganisms called the lake home, and as they died, they fell to the bottom. Their shells formed a half mile thick sediment layer, which remained when the lake eventually dried up. Now the dead Saharan lake allows the Amazon to live. Number two, War's Jungle Child. This warmingly smiling fellow has spent the majority of his life living in the Vietnamese jungle. During the Vietnam War, when Ho Van Lang was four years old, his father fled with him into the jungles of the Quang Nai province after a bomb killed most of his family. They built their own treehouse out in the jungle, crafted tools from bombshells and crashed helicopters, drank from the rivers and ate fruit, honey, snakes and rats. They continued on living this way until 2013 when locals found them and alerted the authorities. Lang only ever learned a handful of words before his now elderly father chose to stop speaking altogether, so communication was an issue at first contact. Luckily, Lang, now in his 50s and living with his long lost brother, is friendly, curious, and endearing. But his brother warns that Lang's upbringing has left him childlike without a sense of right or wrong. This means he's capable of hurting people without true awareness of the consequences. While he finds the modern world a little too noisy, Lang does enjoy the feeling of being in a car, as well as the abundance of light modern society has at its disposal. One thing he struggles to understand, however, is the difference between the sexes, as he went 40 years without seeing a woman. Better to keep him away from any short-fused females who are likely to take offense at being mistaken for a man. Number one, long whale well from home. The jungle floor is home to a wide range of organisms. That's a given. But that diversity doesn't usually include whales. Scientists were understandably confused in early 2019 when they found a dead humpback whale in the Amazon rainforest. How it ended up in the jungle on the island of Maraho, which resides in the mouth of the Amazon River, was a mystery. The only current theory is that the 10-ton marine mammal was thrown up onto the land by a huge wave during a storm. However, scientists are unsure why a 12-month-old humpback calf would have been swimming in that area. After all, it was thousands of miles away from the nearest waters usually occupied by humpbacks. Officials only found the whale after noticing birds of prey scavenging the area. Luckily for the hungry birds, the area in which the whale landed is extremely difficult to reach for vehicles, so it was left there to feed the jungle. If you ever visit the Amazon, you'll now have to add falling whales to the list of things you should be careful to avoid, along with basically every other imaginable way to die. Which of these jungle discoveries did you find the most bizarre? And will you be investing in a whale-proof umbrella for your next trip to the Amazon? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.